Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Gloria. Good evening. Good evening, Alan, Angel, Mirna. Welcome. Hello. It's a pleasure to see you again after vacation, right? How was the vacation, Alan? Did you go to a special place? Uh, no, no. Uh, just in the house, right? Just at home, yes. Okay. Nice, because maybe you can go to the beach and later to the hospital, right? Maybe. <laughs> so, but, but, I, but, I enjoy, but I enjoy cleaning the house. That's... Oh, nice. Very good, right? And, and Gloria? I it. Excellent. Hi, teacher. Hi. Did you enjoy your vacation? Yes, teacher, at home. Yeah. Always. Oh, <laughs> ah, okay. No, no remedy, right? Only the house. Yes. Okay, good. So it's a pleasure to see Giovanni today. Welcome, Giovanni. Hello, Giovanni. Can you hear me? Ah, okay. Ladies, Giovanni, open your cameras. Come on. Welcome to Dani, Mirna, and Angel too, right? Okay, now. Let's begin with the class. Now, we're going to start okay. sharing the, give me a second. I will share my screen. Okay, here. Okay, sound. Share it, right? Okay, class. We're going to we're going to start right with the review with the review of the section five, section one. Sorry. Remember that we have five sections, right? This week we are going to finish section one, section two, and section three. Okay, and to review the section one, we're going to check the video of the modal verse can and should, right? Later, we're going to check the knowledge check, right? To check your work, para chequear el, la, la tarea que habíamos dejado, right? And uh, we're going to do it together. Now, let's check the video, please, please right now. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called modal verbs. Modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. Okay, now let me see. Uh, I have some commentary here. Roxana Mendez, right? I can play soccer tomorrow. Yes, that's nice. He should work part-time. 
What should I wear now? Excellent. Only the capital letter here, but it's a small. Don't worry, Roxana. It's, it's nice, right? La W va con mayúscula, but it's, don't worry. It's a simple thing, right? The three sentences are perfect. Nice. Congratulations, right? And here we have, oops, who's writing, please? Uh, el chico que me está escribiendo, me borra, por favor. Please. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now. What can you do to lose weight? Ooh, it's a good question. I should eat healthy. No churritos, no soda, right? No soda. <laughs> okay, where should I go to exercise? I can go to the stadium for a run, right? These days of coronavirus is very dangerous, but if you use a mask, you can go running, right? Good. Other example here. I shouldn't go to the beach. Yes. Tunco Beach, Mahawal Beach, no. On vacation, no, sorry. They should go to the theater. They can't play the piano, nice. Why should I go there? Good examples, come on. Gloria Palma, let me see. I should go to sleep. I should not go to sleep, okay? Here you can say should not or shouldn't. If you want to emphasize that is negative, you don't use contraction. So it's, I should not go to sleep, right? But if, uh, if it is a normal sentence, you say, I shouldn't go to sleep, right? And we can go out the house. Mm, well, in these days, again, right? It could be negative because it's not possible, right? Because of the coronavirus. We cannot, mm -hmm, the apostrophe, right? Solo el apostrofe me faltó acá, eh, Gloria. We cannot go out the house. Okay, nice. Good example. Thank you very much, Gloria. And the last example. Where should I go? Okay, we missed the question mark here, right? Nos faltó el símbolo de pregunta acá nada más. Okay, you should go to the beach. You shouldn't drink liquor. Yes, please don't do that. Okay? Only in moderation. Only, right? Okay, she should dance at the party. Ooh, dancing, yes. Good examples here. Thank you very much for your commentary. Right now, we're going to knowledge check. That is the laboratory, right? Okay, let's start. Uh, who's going to help me? Uh, Alan Romero. What is your option here, Alan? Can or can't? Uh, let me check. Look at the example, right? I can't, can. I cannot. Yeah. Correct, can't. Let's do it together, let me check. Okay, can't. good. Can't. Now, the next one, right? Uh, you should or shouldn't go to India is my favorite place. Let me see who's going to help me. Angel. You should. Angel Martinez, please. Angel. Okay, hello. Angel, hello, Angel. Should or shouldn't? Uh, I think shouldn't. Okay, because it's, a, it's my favorite place. I like it. So should or shouldn't, Angel? Shouldn't. Mm, but if I say, es mi lugar favorito, así es que no, no vayan porque es mi lugar favorito. Huh? So it's should or shouldn't. <laughs> Shoot, 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 that's it, right? Thank you, Angel. Okay, next okay. one, right? Uh, Felipe, please. I'm planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think I should or I shouldn't go? Should. Should. Thank you, Felipe. Okay, the next option. You, you go anytime, it says. You, you shouldn't or you should. You the should weather, go anytime. Weather, the weather is nice all year. Let me see who's going to help me. Giovanni, are you there, Giovanni? Gio? Giovanni? Giovanni Orellana? Okay. Let me see. Gloria, please. Gloria, can you help me with this, please? Yes. Should. should. You should. You should. You should. You should. That's it, right? Remember you did this on vacation, right? Recuerden que lo hicimos en vacaciones. No me van a estar haciendo trampita, eh? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Let's continue, right? Uh, uh, the options are, let me see. 
should or shouldn't? Should I or shouldn't I rent a car? Who's going to help me? Uh, Iris Palacio, please. Uh, sure. Should. Sí. Should. Okay, very good. And the next one, um, Jose Magaña. No, you shouldn't or no, you should. Jose Magaña. Jose, can you hear me? Okay. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Thank you, Jose. Thank you very much. Okay, shouldn't. And uh, the next one, where should I get, or oh, sorry, where can I get, or where can't I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok, Thailand, right? So uh, let me hear. Teacher. Yes, yes, question. Uh, and the number three, maybe, um, no, sure. letter, letter B, maybe, no, you, you should, no, shouldn't. Ah, okay, so that's my mistake. Because right? the, the, the sentence. Uh, no, you should. Says, you should no. definitely use the subway. Okay, good. Correction. Thank you for the correction. Yes, because we have a comma, right? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. You yes. should uh -huh. definitely use the subway, right? Mm -hmm. It's fast and efficient. Thank you very much for okay. rescuing us, for rescatarnos ahí. Okay, thank you. Very good. Now let's continue with uh, Mirna, right? Yes, teacher. Can, yes. Or, can or can't? Can. Negative, right? Or, or affirmative? Af affirmative. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay. And you, thank you. Now you should or you shouldn't? Uh, Roxana, Roxana Mendez. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Okay. We're going to see later. Don't worry. Remember, this is just to practice, right? And number five. Uh, Danny Sandoval, please. What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? Or what can't I see from the Eiffel Tower? Can. Affirmative or negative? Yes, affirmative. Thank you. And now let me see um, Felipe again, please, Felipe. Number letter B, number five. Can't or can't? Can. can. Affirmative. Affirmative. Okay. Now let's see. Submit. Can I check? My goodness. You have a ten. Claps to you, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Now. With this, we officially close the section one, right? The section one. Oh, now, yeah. today we're going to start with section number two. Section number two. Give me a second here. Okay. I don't know if you have any extra question. <laughs> I'm sorry. Turn off the microphone, please. Microfonos apagados, please. And now, we are going to we are going to share the PowerPoint presentation. Give me a second here. PowerPoint presentation. Okie dokie. Okay, give me a second. Sharing the screen here. Oops, give me a second. Okay. Yes, everything is, is good. Now, can you see, class? Can you see my screen? Can you see? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Yes. So, intermediate three, right? Uh, the topic is health problems. Health problems. So, today we're going to check number one, health problems, the vocabulary, right? Then we're going to see a conversation related with health problems. And finally, we're going to check the infinitive complement. That is the grammar for today. Vocabulary, conversation, and grammar, right? Vocabulary, health problems. Conversation, health problems too. And grammar, infinitive uh, complement, right? For today, right? Good.
Now let's begin. We're going to start with the lesson objective, right? Uh, who's going to read for me? Let me see. Uh, Angel, please. Angel, can you read the, the objective for today, please? For the vocabulary. Okay. Please. Okay. Lesson agile. In this section, you will learn vocabulary for common her problems as well as listen to conversation where this network will be practiced. Thank you very much, Angel. New word, right? New words. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, this is good. Okay, now, he will start with the vocabulary for today, right? We have uh, the health problems and the remedies. Huh? Okay, let's start with a cold, the flu, a cough, sore muscles. Sore is similar to say pain. Oh, pain, right? In the muscle, right? A headache, insomnia. A backache, a stomachache. Okay? Don't say stomachache, right? It's stomachache. Good. Now listen again and repeat, repeat after me, please. Health, health problem. Health problem. Health problem. But remember, you have to turn off the microphone, right? Vamos a apagar los micrófonos un ratitito, please. Just, just, okay. And I want to see your lips. Move it, right? Okay, thank you. Now, repeat after me. A cold. The flu. A cough. <laughs> A cough. Sore muscles. A headache. A headache. Egg. Or H, you can see here, means dolor, right? So we say head, ek. Okay, repeat, please, repeat. Insomnia. A backache. Back, cake. Backache. A stomachache. A stomach ache. Good. Now, remedies. Listen, please. A lot of rest. Garlic soup. Take vitamin C or vitamin C, right? Good. Now, repeat after me, please. Remedies. Garlic soup. Take vitamin C. Good. Now, any question about vocabulary? Something you don't understand? Questions? Questions? No questions. Okay, no. good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, no. let's get... Ah, question. Okay. Angel. Sore muscles. Okay, sore yes. muscles is, uh, sore is dolor, right? Dolor, sore. Okay. And muscles is musculo. Okay. Dolor de musculo. Yes. For example, if you exercise, mm -hmm. right? On vacation, ooh, one, two, three. After the exercise, yes. oh, sore muscle, right? Uh-huh. Or oh, sometimes when you have the flu, right? The gripe. Okay. It's como that you have sore muscle, dolor de musculo, sore muscle, right? Okay, okay. Okay. Yes. It's cultural. It's cultural, right? Because you can say uh, muscles ache, for example, right? Muscles ache. <laughs> it's possible, but it's culturally it's not acceptable. Okay? Uh, like, for example, you say in, in Spanish, me duele la pierna, right? But maybe you don't say, eh, eh, tengo dolor de piernas, huh? So it's, it's more, in El Salvador, it's more common you say, me duele la pierna, right? So the same happened in, in English, that um, cultural, 
uh, you say sore muscles. Other possibility could say sore head, right? Dolor de cabeza, sore head. But no, no, incorrect. Because it's, it's like, a, uh, like a question, right? Do you understand? I mean, sorry, it's cultural, excuse me. It's like cultural, understand? Es algo cultural, por eso lo dicen así, solmoso, dolor de músculo. Ok, Alan? Questions, Alan? 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 Ajá, ok. Give, give me a second. Alan, Alan, can you hear me, Alan? Okay, I, I don't I don't listen Alan, but later, later, right? Maybe can you hear me now? Oh yes, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've I've read uh, about the, the question of the the companion. Uh, why don't we use uh, pain when we're speaking? Because uh, uh -huh. pain is just when you're training uh, or uh, and sport or stuff like that, or or you. you're uh, training on a gym. It's okay. Pain is you just use it for for athletics. When you are making it's, exercises, it's, it's more common to say pain, right? Yeah, pain it's, it's just for athletic acti activities, yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you're pain. sick, when you're sick, it's more common yeah, to it's... say sore muscles. Thank you, Alan. Yes. Thank you. And I had another question there, right? Había otra pregunta por ahí. No vi que me la estaba haciendo, pero era una chica. Questions? Uh-huh. Ah, backache. Ah, backache is, oh, espalda, dolor de espalda, right? Ooh, backache. 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 It's, uh, a literal, pain? it's a, in, in Spanish, it's lumbago. Uh, no, 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 no. Listen, uh, there are many reasons. There are many reasons why you can have a backache, right? Uh, in uh, lumbago, I will investigate for you what is lumbago, but... Uh, is one of the reasons. El lumbago es una de las razones por las que puede doler la espalda, pero hay otras razones también, right? If you fell, it could, you can hurt, you can hurt your back, right? Se puede lastimar la espalda si se cae. That's one of the reasons, right? Yeah, okay. because I say it is literally backache in lumbago, but it's not a, a it's not a, a, a definitely no, translation no, no. for that no, word. No, no, no. This is one of the translation, right? One of the translation. Okay. okay, thank you. Now, no more questions, let's continue, right? Okay, now, uh, for the next one, we have health problems here, look. Uh, here we have more health problems. Just give me a second, I will do something here. Okay, here, listen, please, listen. I don't feel well. I have, one, a headache, two, a stomach ache. Stomach. Three, an earache. Four, a toothache. Five, a backache. Six, a cold. Seven, a sore throat. Eight, a fever. Nine, a cough. Ten, a runny nose. Now listen again. And repeat, a headache, a stomach ache, an earache, stomach ache. a toothache, a, a, a backache, a, a cold, ache. a, a sore throat. A fever. A cough. A runny nose. A runny nose. Okay, thank you very much. Now, you see here, for example, also a sore throat, right? Dolor de garganta. Notice that you can say a uh, uh, throat ache, or maybe you can say a pain on the throat, right? But culturally, it's more acceptable to say a sore throat, right? Okay, and also you have here earache, dolor de oído, right? And a runny nose, that means, uh, we say in Spanish, mocosera, right? <laughs> a runny nose. Good, that's it, right? Here we have this vocabulary. And 
we have uh, more, right? Uh, listen to the audio again, please. I feel dizzy. I feel nauseous. I feel weak. I feel short of breath. I've been vomiting. I've been coughing. I've been sneezing. I've been wheezing. I have pain in my chest. I have pain in my hip. I have pain in my ribs. I have pain in my stomach. Now listen again and repeat. I feel dizzy. I feel nauseous. I feel nauseous. I feel weak. I feel weak. I feel short of breath. I feel short of breath. I've been vomiting. I've been coughing. I've been coughing. I've been sneezing. I've been missing. I've been wheezing. I've been missing. I have pain in my chest. I have pain in my chest. I have pain in my hip. I have pain in my hip. I have pain in my ribs. I have pain in my ribs. I have pain in my stomach. Okay, thank you. Turn off the microphone, please. Apaemos los micrófonos, please. Okay, but now, if you have questions, do you have questions about this vocabulary? No question. Pain is, yes. pain is other word for dolor. Uh -huh. Dolor. You, you can have ache, sore, and, and, and let me see. Pain, sore, and ache. That's ache. it, right? The three means dolor. Dolor, right? But in wheezing. Wheezing is when, when, when it's difficult to breathe. When it's difficult to respirar. Give me a second. Wheezing is when you... May, Something like this, right? Difficult to breathe. Dificultad para respirar, right? Que se oye como un pitillo adentro del, del pecho, right? Wheezing, right? Okay, and the other question? Silva. Ajá, uh -huh, yes, that's right. Correct, yes. Uh, por ahí estaba alguien más preguntando. Another question, please. Pain my chest. Ah, chest. Your chest, right? Uh -huh. A pain in your chest. I have a pain in my chest, in my chest, in el pecho, the Lord in the pecho, right? Yes. Good. In my hip? I, I, hip, I is, that the pain hip is, is the, the caderas. Hip, cadera, right? My hip. Pain is usually when we are, when we are describing, right, Tisha? Well, yeah, there is not a general rule, but uh, yes, when you are describing the uh, other part that are not very common, you say a pain. I have a pain here. And sometimes you can use two expressions, right? But these are the most common. I have a pain in my hip, in my chest, in my ribs, in my stomach. Ribs? What's the meaning of teacher? Ribs. 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 Costilla. 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 My oh, wife. Oh, bread. My Sorry. wife. Bread. Listen. My wife is my rib. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> okay. And notice that I can say I have pain in my stomach. But you can also say, I have a stomach ache. So there are two forms mm -hmm. to describe, right? Okay, good. No more questions? So let's continue. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Question? Short of breath. Short of breath. Short of breath is the... Short. Uh, so Short it, of breath. Is when you... Uh, uh, that, that you are, for example, you're uh, going to stay, right? That's when una gradas being... Prolongado, right? Cansado, Good. se me fue el aliento, right? Or when you're playing football. <laughs> Agitado. 
Uh huh. That's it, right? And you. Okay, please, please change because you need a change, right? <laughs> okay, short of breath means uh, corto de, de respiración, right? Okay. I need a change. <laughs> ah, yes, when you're playing football, right? I need a change. <laughs> okay. In, in my case, for example, uh, only only 10 minutes <laughs> and out, right? <laughs> I, I am short of breath. <laughs> okay, good. Let's continue, right? Let's continue. Okay, let me see. Remedies. Here we have some remedies. Look. Okay, I will play the audio, but please turn off the microphone. Vamos a apagar todos los micrófonos, okay? Ready? Okay, here we go. Remedies. Read and listen. One. Take something. Two. Lie down. Three. Have some tea. Four. See a doctor. See a dentist. Now listen again and repeat. Take something. Lie down. Have some tea. See a doctor. See a dentist. Okay, now the next one, please. Read and listen. A checkup. An examination. A shot. An injection. An EKG. An electrocardiogram. An X-ray. A blood test. Now listen again and repeat. A checkup. An examination. A shot. An injection. An EKG. An electrocardiogram. An X-ray. A blood test. Okay, class. Questions? Questions, questions? No questions. Okay? You understand by the pitch, right? Good. So here we have the vocabulary. The vocabulary is related with uh, health problems, problems, you know, and remedies for those problems, right? Okay, now, now we're going to check the, the, the platform. Let's check the platform. Let me check here. Okay, here, right? Now, let me share my screen with you. Here, right? Okay. Now, we're going to start with uh, the vocabulary, right? Listen, please. Hello everyone, welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache, a backache, sore muscles, a stomachache, a cold, a cough, the flu, insomnia. On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem you have had recently. Okay, listen, according to the exercise, right, you can copy, ah, we have examples now, look, excellent. Uh, you can't sleep because you have insomnia, huh? only say you, you have insomnia, that's it, right? Uh, Gloria Palma here, excellent, commentary, good commentary, right? I have a headache. My husband had insomnia, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Another example. My husband can have sore muscle after he does. He does only, right? Uh, we can eliminate do. Po power lifting. That's one, two, three. Okay, good. My husband can have. 
sore muscles after he does power lifting. Good. And I can have a stomach cake if I if I eat. Let's eliminate will. And not only say if I eat a lot of a lot of pizza, right? Or a lot of all this pizza. Mm -hmm. It's more common to say a lot of pizza, right? And I have this one. It says, I hardly ever have insomnia. Congratulations. You never, you uh, hardly ever have this problem, right? And then here, very hot. I have a headache. Check it out the spelling here. Okay. Hay que corregir el, el deletreado here, the spelling, right? Headache is H E A D A C H E, right? Okay, last week I had, because you say last week is in past, right? So I had the flu, the flu, right? Some days I have insomnia. When I leave this something, okay, so because uh, I guess it's in present. When I lift something heavy, I have a bad cake. In my case, el agua cristal is a problem. <laughs> when I lift it, okay. So, but this is in present, right? Because it's when I lift, eliminate the D here, right? And finally, when I scream, uh, it gives me a cough. Mm -hmm. When I scream, again, in present, right? Scream, eliminate the ED. Uh, when I scream, uh, I get a cough or it causes me a cough, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, thank you for your commentaries, that's nice. Okay, let's continue, right? Now let's go to the conversation. Listen to the conversation, please. Craig, how are you? Not so good. Excuse me. Hello, welcome back. Now that we have gone over health-related words, we're ready to listen to them in context. Listen to them in context. Also, pay attention to suggestions given when we get sick. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Okay, good. Interesting, right? Get sick. Now, let's practice the conversation together, right? First, the teacher is going to, to say, and you repeat, right? And later, the second part, we're going to, uh, we're going to listen to the audio, right? Uh, just give me a second. I have two, two messages here. Mm, okay. Okay, later I will read uh, the two messages, but like, now, now, let's practice, right? Now, please. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. A terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. At home in bed. You should be at home in bed. It's really important it's really important to get a lot of rest. To get a lot of rest. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? Have you taken 
anything for it? And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Okay, I was reading the message, I'm sorry. Just chop up, just chop up a whole head, a whole head of garlic. Just chop up a whole head of garlic. And cook it. In chicken stock and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. Try it. It really works. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. That Sounds awful. Okay, now listen to the audio, right? And repeat, please. Again, repeat. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat, eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Okay, good. Any question about vocabulary? Chicken yes, teacher. Chicken stock is like a caldo de pollo, right? There is a book. Caldo yes. de pollo para Chop. el alma. It says it's Chop. Chicken, stock. chicken stock for the soul. Sorry? Awful. Awful. Ah, odious. Let me see. Give me a second. Awful. Horrible. Horrible, yes. The last word. The I, last I, word. The last word. Ah, yeah, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Awful, yes. Odious. Horrible, right? Okay. Good. Now, no more questions? Just chop up. Chop what up is the like, meaning of? Chop up. Sure. Look, chop up is like a, uh, cortar, like, like when, when you cortar. Oh. But uh, I don't know. It's a uh, no. It's like you say. Um, yes, cortar, rebanar. I guess. In trozos. Ah, uh, that's it, right? Well, you make, uh, for example, carrots. So you you chop up, oh, okay. right? Or, or the onion, right? You chop up. <laughs> you, yeah. you fry, but 
to chop up the, the onion, right? Okay, that's it, chop up, right? And something else? Well. No, no, no. okay. Well. Sorry? Well. Well, uh, well. well, it's like a good, well, bueno. Okay. Well, well, well. it's well. chop up, chop up a wall. Ah, wall, wall. Well. Wall is a completo, total, entero. In this case, oh, head of garlic, una cabeza, una cabeza de ajo. Entera, de ajo. Entera. Can oh. you imagine? Oof, okay. I imagine that soup, right? <laughs> no. no, thank you. <laughs> I, I prefer something, uh, another medicine, right? Okay, now let's continue uh, with the grammar. Remember, today we have vocabulary, conversation, and grammar, but yes. I want we practice, but no time. So I'm sorry today, we have a lot of material today. So for that reason, I will go immediately to the infinitive complement. But before to go to the infinitive complement, I want you check the, you check the, the PowerPoint presentation, right? Let me see here. Okay. Yes. Okay. The, the second objective for today is uh, in this session, infinity complements will be taught, right? Serán enseñados. Infinity complements are used to ask and give advice. Ask and give advice. Okay. Pedir y dar consejos. Now, let's go to the, to the structure, right? Infinity complement, right? And we have the structure here. Look. Uh, we have, oops, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. We have the adjective. We can have the noun and also a combination. Look, adjective and noun, right? Here, for example, it's important to get a lot of rest. Important is an adjective, right? The infinitive get. So the infinity basically is to add the preposition to before the verb, okay? The infinity form is the preposition to before the verb. Hmm? So it's not the same to say it's important get, that to say it's important to get. Notice, right? In this case, the infinitive is helping me to give and to ask about a uh, by, right? And the complement is a lot of rest. Then in a negative form, it's essential not to hurt. So to change the infinity to negative form, you add the, the word not, right? And then you, you say the preposition to and the verb, not to hurt the victim, right? Okay. And you can also use nouns. Here, things, it's, it's a noun, right? Okay, uh, and then the infinity to do in the hospital. But there are many, there are things to do in the hospital, right? Especially this day for the doctors and nurses, there are a lot of work to do there, right? And final, finally, adjective and noun. Look, good adjective idea, it's a noun, right? It's a good idea to take vitamin C or vitamin C. That's a recommendation, right? Especially these days. So, can you see the, 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 the example here? Um, now, let's go to your participation, right? Uh, let me see. Uh, Sarai, Sarai, can you give me one example using whatever, right? Adjective, noun, or... Hmm? Not necessary about health. You can tell me another example, right? Sarai? I, I, I don't copy, Sarai. Maybe it's, maybe your microphone has a problem, right? Okay, don't worry, don't worry, Sarai. Relax, don't worry. Oscar is going to help me. Oscar? Oscar Martinez? Oscar, can you hear me? Uh, I don't know if, if, if it's a problem with my, with the internet, okay. Lisette Ramirez. Lisette. Hello, Lisette. 
Hi, hi. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> Lisette, can you give me one example, Lisette? Is it, it uh, for example, it's important to go to the doctor? Excellent. It's important to go to the doctor, right? Now, uh, I guess one microphone, creo que un micrófono por ahí está encendido. Si me lo pagan, por favor, toditos, vamos a, creo que ya. Ya, yeah, okay, good. Now, and uh, the next one. Uh, Giovanni por ahí me mandó un mensaje que está escuchando. Nada más no le sirve el micrófono, pero vamos a ver quién nos ayuda aquí. Eh, José Magaña, please. Can you help me, José? Can you give me one extra example? José? Ok. Eh, with it? Ah, yes, yes. With there are or... Any example. You can say it's good, it's bad, it's, it's essential, it's important, it's etc. etc. Right? Uh, Any example. You, okay. you, in, you invent, you make up the, your example, right? It's it's very important to give a medicine. To give medicine. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, right? Okay, now let's go to the platform again and we're going to watch the last video, right? The last video. Just give me some second here. Here I close, sharing my, the platform here. Okay, good. So let's go to the grammar, right? Infinitive complements. Okay, watch the video, please. Hi, in this session, infinitive complements will be taught. Infinitive complements are used to ask and give advice. I will give you a quick example right now. What should I do for a cold? It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. And stay with us and join the explanation after the audio program. Infinitive compliments. What should you do for a cold? It's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Remember when we talk about infinitives, we refer to a verb with no conjugation. So notice that we use to plus verb within our suggestions or advice. So if you want to give an advice to someone, you should do it this way. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take cough drops. Okay. Now, uh, I want your, your commentary, right? Ah, we have one commentary here. Look, nice, in the discussion. But I want the commentaries of everybody, right? Uh, commentary about Gloria, Jose Perez, Karen, Katia Torres, everybody, I need you to give your commentaries. Look, here we have this example. What should I do for the flu? It's really important to get a lot of rest. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea to eat garlic and chicken soup. <laughs> I don't like garlic, but okay, you shouldn't go to the dock, to the, sorry, to work. Here, right, you can eliminate that. You shouldn't go to work. You should stay in bed. Yeah, sometimes when we're sick, it's, it's better to stay home, right? Okay, that's nice. But uh, for tomorrow, I, I want to see more examples, right? More, more commentaries. And uh, finally, we have a laboratory, right? Laboratory, knowledge check. And let me see. Read the following questions, write the best advice for each health problem, right? Remember to use the infinitive complement. You do not need to rewrite what it is in the brackets, okay? No se necesita escribir lo que está en paréntesis. Okay, so uh, what should I do for us? Uh, I guess there is a mistake here, right? For a game errorcito the spelling, but it's sore, you know, right? Sore throat. It's important. Okay, let me let me explain um, that when we're talking about medicine, we can use some verbs. We can use take. We can use put. For example, if you're using cofal, right? 
you don't you don't take kofal you 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 put kofal right okay and drink drink uh put uh, take uh, so the, those are some of the the verbs you can you can use see for example you're going to see the doctor see the doctor you don't take the doctor right or you don't put the doctor you you see the doctor right Be uh-huh and or get also you can use get when you get a, a tablet for example i can get tablet so i can take tablet right so get drink see put uh, are some of the examples you can use here right and then the rest what should i do for a sore throat it's important okay for example right what should i do for the flu it's important to to get medicine for example right to get Excellent. but don't don't forget that to use the preposition to and then the the, the verb right uh, to get to put to to drink etc etc right so please i need you complete this and if you have questions i'm going to be there in, in the whatsapp right in the whatsapp sometimes uh, okay. maybe i don't answer your questions immediately right but I always check the WhatsApp. I always, I'm always checking your, your, your questions in the groups. Uh, and, and again, if, if you wanna make a question, uh, it's important you can get the question and uh, you can make the question into the group because then everybody uh, learn, right? Si hacen las preguntas en el grupo, todos aprendemos, right? It's better that you make this way, okay? So, um, okay. do you have any extra question? Uh, before we finish the class, because uh, I consider this topic is is not very difficult, but it's not easy, right? And and if you have problems to understand this part, so don't worry, I can I can help you. Just give me a second here. Okay, uh, here, right? So I, I don't know if you have any extra question. Before we finish? No, no, okay. Good, I, I will take the attendant, right? Uh, I will say your names. If, if I don't say your name, uh, please uh, turn off your microphone for a while, right? Apaguemos un ratitito, solo unos dos minutitos más. Apaguemos un ratito el micrófono, please turn off. Thank you, thank you very much. If I don't say your name, you tell me. Uh, teacher, a mí no me mencionó, okay. Or oh, teacher, present, please. Okay, uh, Alan Romero. Ángel Martínez, Betty Vázquez, Felipe Linares, Giovanni Orellana, Gloria Palma, Iris Palacios, José Magaña, José Pérez, Karen Meléndez, Katia Torres, Mirna López, Roxana Méndez, Janet Morales, Yanira García, Dani Sandoval, Lizeth Ramírez, Oscar Martínez, and Saraí Mejía. Right? Did I mention all of you? Lo mencionamos a todos? Jose Magaña. Jose Magaña, yes. You are here, Jose. You are here, don't worry. Your commenter. And today, I'm sorry I didn't give you, I, give, I didn't give all of you participation. No pude darle a todos participación porque había mucho material. Eh, Jose, creo que, Jose, creo que su micrófono es que, okay, thank you, thank you. Eh, Había mucho material, ¿verdad? Porque este, había mucho vocabulario. Pero eh, para la siguiente clase sí, pero dale participación a todos. ¿verdad? Ok, so, uh, if no commentaries, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow, right? See you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Have a good night. See you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. God bless you. God bless you. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. God bless you.